I want to be a yo-yo man, he cried. Make me a yo-yo man. But the yo-yo master did not answer. He just kept on yoing. Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and last time we got Ryu into Elite Smash, finishing off the Shota's run for our Roads to Elite Smash, and this time we only have four more characters in the Smash 64 newcomers to still get to, and we've gotten a lot of them, and at the same time we're looking to finish off another series. Now this character is from the Mother series, and we've already done Lucas so far, but as one of the newcomers to Smash 64, one of the most hated characters in Smash, we're going to be tackling Ness, and Ness I think is a lot less fun to play than Lucas, but I think in some ways it does make him a lot more rewarding. This red and white skin I think is just okay, but I love the Bumblebee skin, the yellow and the black just going really well together, and I think we'll hit a few home runs around the way. Alright, looks like we have Bowser up first, and it has been a while since we've fought a good Bowser. Let's see what he's up to. I mean, I'll show you off Neff's moveset. So that was up there he did, and of course Bowser seemed to flame, uh, flame breath. So that was his side magnet, really good, just like Lucas is, has a bit of a hitbox, but more importantly can absorb projectiles, and of course PK fire. This is the more annoying version and most notorious for pissing people off. And it is really essential to Ness's toolkit. That is hey, what happened? This is game Thunder. Unfortunately, died for it. But you can use it as a projectile. And you can also, if you hit it into yourself, it can launch you. And that's what helps you recover. That's his upbeat. His yo yo. Gotta really talk about that. His up smash and down smash both use a yo yo. Kaboom! Yes, Rico. Kaboom! That's his F smash, though. A bat. Can reflect projectiles similar to Lucas's F smash with his little stick. This side might get a little bit different, it goes around him, whereas Lucas is sort of projects him a little far out. And yeah, PK Fire is at an angle in the air, whereas with Lucas is it always flies very much- Well, what happened? Good cross up on that Bowser, I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to make it a little bit safe there, but... And there's PK Fire, trying to get him on a down air, but he's unfortunately a little too low, so he isn't going to recover there. You can do some pretty interesting setups with PK Fire, other than, you know, just smashing it over and over again, which apparently a lot of people who play Nets just like to do, for whatever reason. Another up he had a shield from Bowser. Alright. Alright, and he does whip it, so let's show you his back throw, and that's a really strong back throw. One of the strongest back throws in the game, and is really notorious for taking kills really, really early, and that's already just claiming his first win. Alright, and it looks like we have Fox up next, one of the other Smash 64 newcomers that we haven't tackled yet, but we'll be fighting against him today. So yeah, it's trying not for PK Fire, of course I'm not going to hit because he sits still there. But yeah, I know Foxes can tend to be very aggressive, but he's already going from the gecko, doing a lot of damage, 32%, just going there, so I was trying to block all of my uh, get up attack and uh, normal get up options. Alright, nice PK Fire, unfortunately missing the down air again, but we got him very deep, so he can't recover. Alright, still gotta be careful. Using that to block him, very nice, because the, the yo-yo with the hitbox are on it at all times. Ooh, alright, yeah, unfortunately we weren't gonna live that. He did. I thought the second hit up air was coming out, but it didn't. Alright, still doing good so far. His air dodge is actually very wide. Alright, and that's his down smash. Died really early, but the unique thing with uh, his yo-yo, his down smash, and his up smash is that you can hang them off the ledge and it can prevent them, people from recovering, which is really, really huge. So yeah, luckily we lived that up smash, and that was really dangerous. Alright, another PK fire, nice. Let's try another one, there we go. I'm trying to just not do PK thunder. I scratch the surface and never fail. To look within. Oh, but yes, there we go. I'm about to say PK Fire, but that PK Thunder does a lot of damage on the ground. And it can beat break shields, uh, taking the kill just very, very early. All right, one more game against this Fox, and we're in Elite Smash, and so far, we're doing pretty well. Slayer over here seems to be very much, very aggressive in terms of his options. You can just see all the, the moves he's thrown out, and we can just play very patient, because we have a really good grab game, and... But the yo-yo master did not answer. He just kept on yoing. <laughs> well, he tends to do that. And apparently just running into that up smash right there. It really helps us out there. But he's able to count about that. And we live the up smash really, really close there. But yeah, he does have those fast options. Really good frame damage. Yeah, I wasn't getting hit by that up smash. 
But so far, we're doing really good. I think we can definitely... I think we're just going to try to see if we can get him to call a jump. He's jumping a lot in neutral, so... Alright. See ya. Ah, nice! We we'll even get the kill with the F-Tilt. Not something I can't really say I've done with Ness. But now we have. Alright, making it back. Trying to use the magnet to sort of push him away because of that hitbox. Alright, looking good. No uh, up smash there. Alright, and I don't know why he's countered there. Probably expected a PK fire, but we're doing it alright. And, oh, alright! Well, that's going to be a free win for us. He seemed to have done up air a lot earlier than he should have. But that is just going to put Ness in Elite Smash. Well, unsurprisingly, that was a very easy time with Ness. And as you can see, oh, actually you can't because my camera's blocking it, but I will adjust it here. Ness is now the top GSP, and this is the first time that we've had someone in the top GSP spot in over a year and a half, ever since Yunling achieved that all the way back in May of 2022. A pretty big achievement for Ness, uh, although I'm not really sure who else could take that number one GSP spot. It's rotated and people have gotten very close, so we got a few more characters to go, and we'll see who can take that top spot from Ness until then. Other than that, I think I really enjoyed playing with Ness. What did you say? But not too much, obviously. Ness is, you know, pretty interesting to play. Uh, I do prefer Lucas over Ness, though. I think there's a lot more creative things you can do with Lucas. Although, Ness does have some pretty creative tools at his disposal. And at least, you know, I didn't do PK Fire after PK Fire. And actually played, like, an actual good player. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and smash that subscribe button with Ness's home run bat. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.